Today, King Charles and Queen Camilla are enjoying the second day of their official visit to France. This morning, the king delivered a historic speech in front of the French Senate. On September 21, King Charles made history by becoming the first member of the British royal family to address the French Senate. The king was greeted with a standing ovation and enthusiastic applause when he arrived at the Senate, and he later stood to deliver a historic address in which he flowed from French and English in a way that was quite smooth. She was referred to by the king as the golden thread that tied the two countries together. Last night in the Hall of Mirrors at Versailles, the French royal couple dined with French President Emmanuel Macron and his wife, who also attended the event. The President of France, Emmanuel Macron, and his wife were also present at the meal, which included the exotic delicacy of blue lobster and included other rare and exotic foods. A royal aircraft brought the King and Queen of England to Paris on the afternoon of Wednesday, the first day of their three-day tour of France. The royal pair will wrap out their trip on September 22 in Bordeaux, where they will spend the night. After spending the morning together at the Bibliothèque Nationale de France, Queen Camilla and Brigitte Macron competed against one another in a game of table tennis in Paris today afternoon. The match was held at the same venue where they had spent the morning. The duo competed against each other in front of a group of perhaps a dozen people, including King Charles, who watched on. Nevertheless, Camilla appeared to give in to the strain and lose. On the footage of the exhibition match, Brigitte's serve can be seen missing the table, which opens the door for Camilla to take the lead. During their recent state visit to France, King Charles and Queen Camilla have come under fire for their behavior. Nathalie Artaud, the spokesperson for the French Communist Party Let Ouvrière, described the royal couple as a tourist attraction in one of her statements. Spectators in an upstairs flat opposite the cathedral waved and screamed Vive le Roi, which caused the king to break into a jovial smile and waved back with great enthusiasm. During their visit to the heroic firemen who were working to put out the tragic fire that broke out at Notre Dame Cathedral in April 2019, their majesties were accompanied by President and Madame Macron. The king gave the firefighters a friendly smile as they joked that they were working as quickly as possible to meet the deadline that Macron had set for the rehabilitation of the area. The royal couple then had the opportunity to speak with artisan stonemasons who were hard at work repairing statues and gargoyles that had been harmed by the tragic fire. King Charles was particularly interested in the situation and inquired in great detail about the damage that had been done to the masonry and the wooden spires. At one point, Madame Macron gave off the impression that she was preoccupied with something else as she pulled fluff off of President Macron's suit sleeve. After that, their majesties moved closer to the cathedral to inspect the damage done to the gargoyles by the fire. In addition, the previous candidate for president made fun of the glitzy state banquet that was hosted at Versailles on Wednesday evening. The fire that destroyed Notre Dame began in the attic on the evening of April 15, 2019, and spread throughout the building, destroying the oak roof beams and the lead roof that supported them. When the spire fell, it brought down 750 tons of stone and lead with it. Over 500 firefighters worked together to put out the blaze, which allowed them to save the rest of the cathedral. They were able to save the cathedral's primary structure, facade, towers, walls, buttresses, stained glass, and great organ. The majority of artwork, artifacts, and antiquities were saved by the local Parisian authorities when the fire was still in its early stages. Within 24 hours following a global appeal, more than 800 million euros were privately given for the cathedral's reconstruction and refurbishment works. President Macron has promised to restoring the cathedral. The luncheon that will round off the first day of King Charles and Queen Camilla's royal visit to France will take place at the Palace of Versailles. 
and the palace cooks have provided details regarding the dishes that will be served. The arrival of King Charles and Queen Camilla in France marks the beginning of their three-day trip through the country, during which they will make stops in both Paris and Bordeaux. This evening, the pair who arrived in the city via plane will celebrate their arrival with a sumptuous meal at the Palace of Versailles. They intend to make the most of their first night in the city.